Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is my soldering station. And this is TS100. It's also a soldering station but in very small form. Today I want to tell you about features and everything about this soldering pen. Let's get started. Today I received this package containing my soldering pen from banggood.com. Packing looks fine for me. And the box looks very classy. Inside the box, there is an envelope. Let's see what's inside. There is an Ellen key with two spear screws. And there is a user guide also. And here is our soldering pen laying in foam for protection. And the soldering tip. Here you can see USB port for data only and power port. It can work from 12 to 24 volts DC, like written here on the side of the soldering pen. Here you can see the ground screw for grounding your soldering iron and two keys for adjusting. This is the tip port. And the tip itself. Before I insert the tip, I would like to tell you, this is not just the tip. Because it's containing a heater and temperature sensor inside. I think the tip body is ground and both rings here for heater and for sensor feedback. Now insert the tip inside the soldering iron.
by plugging USB cable and press the key near to the screen, you can see the firmware version is 2.12. So first let's update the firmware. By pressing the key near to the tip while plugging the USB cable, the screen should display DFU letters. From your computer, go to Miniware website and download the latest version of TS100 firmware. In your computer, you will find a new drive like this. Open it and Drop the hex file inside. The file extension will change to RDY. That means our firmware is ready. Then, plug USB cable again and check the firmware version. You will find it's updated. Now connect the power jack. For configuration, Press the key near to the screen. It will show the voltage value and the temperature. Press again. There is factory reset. Work temperature. For your default working temperature, you can increase or decrease it by long press on any key. Now, wait for these arrows to disappear and you can move to the next setting. This one for standby temperature. I will change it to 150 degrees. Now wait. Sleep time. You can change or leave it. Idle time. I will also leave it. Temperature step. When you want to increase or decrease the temperature, it will jump by <coughs> 1 degree, 5 degrees or even more. I will change to 5. So when, it <coughs> when I set temperature, it will increase or decrease 5 by 5. Off voltage, it will turn off the heater if the input voltage drop to this value. Temperature unit, Celsius or Fahrenheit, choose whatever you want. Also hand, left or right, if left, it will flip the text on the screen upside down. Let's try soldering.
I'm using it on large bed here and it's working great like my soldering station Taking a closer look And if you forgot to turn it off It will know and turn itself off Laying there waiting for next mission If you found this video is useful for you, please subscribe and like for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to see the description.